Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to conclude the quarter-final round and we got two matches to go before the semi-final starts. <laughs> Who do you think's gonna win this tournament out of that lot? Well, we're just gonna have to see, aren't we? But anyway, in our first matchup, we will see a rematch from Group B, Slifer Sky Dragon X taking on Lousp. And then down here, we will see Lepoke taking on the outsider, Maximum Pyrus. Without further ado, let's get on with it. I'm a little bit nervous to record this video because, well, <laughs> well, you won't see it, but I'm uploading a video as well while I'm doing this, so I don't know if my computer's going to cope. Hopefully it won't, hopefully it won't affect anything. But anyway, up first for Cypher Sky Dragon, we have an Abelosaurus. Cypher Sky Dragon X won the matchup in the group stage. Well, it was a bit, it was barely a win. As for Laos in the blue corner, we have an Alpha Kendrasaurus. See what this beast can do. Can Laos finish off Slifer Sky Dragon X this time? Because he failed to do that last time. You got a whatever Rex just said. Ooh, that's a two. And that's a six. Exalt. Two. And that is a good start from Laos. Earth Barrier off the bat as well. Oh, that's another hit from Laos. The Kentrosaurus dominating early on. Laos on top early on. And Slifer Sky Dragon X looks like they're going to have to play catch up again. But Slifer Sky Dragon X are the comeback king. So don't count them out at any moment in the game, in the match. And here comes Slifer Sky Dragon's first hit of the match. Although the Earth Barrier was in effect there, neutralizing the. Hunchu! <coughs> Neutralize. Nullifying the damage there. Not doing too much. And a light recovery will probably heal it up. Speak of the devil, there's a light recovery. Laos going into a 1-0 lead. Yeah, because the poison helps. Okay, it doesn't fully heal it, but it pretty much heals it. And, pretty much like in every match in their tournament campaign, Slifer Sky Dragon X is 1-0 dead. But, we have this beast of a secret dino up next for Slifer Sky Dragon, the Apatosaurus. And we have seen glimpses of what it can do once those secret moves get triggered. And it seems to be a very good, like, comeback dinosaur, because it needs a few turns to get going. You know, it doesn't seem to get the secret moves until a certain number of rounds have passed. Oh, that's a tie. Ties will suit Louse more. And that will definitely suit Louse, but an Earth Barrier will tighten the screw even more. Oh, come on, come on, Slifer Sky Dragon, you can't get dominated like this. What, are you waiting to be on the brink of defeat so you can magically win? It may have worked against Louts before, but I don't think it's going to work against him this time. And, well, you're a the Apatosaurus is, is dead. I mean, he's not surviving this. Oh, it is! Okay, I'll, I'll give hats off to them for that, but again, this thing's still got the Earth Barrier in effect. Um, Laos definitely showing no mercy in this match. I mean, he did that last time and he lost. Well, Laos has a 2-0 lead and has only been hit once. But, here comes the comeback king. It's Spiny. Spiny responsible for pretty much a large amount of Slifer Sky Dragon X's victories in this tournament. As will all of the team's fur dinos are, but... Spiny in particular, because it defeats a lot of them. Yes, I am recording. <laughs> mental, I am mental. Ah, oh, here it is! Is this gonna be a comeback for all comebacks? Neptune Stream gonna be activated. Well, Earth Barrier is gonna nullify this damage, so... I, there's not really much point in me going for a force here. I might as well just not get the hit off. Rock, paper, scissors, rock. But I'm going to go maximum anyway. 
Cypher Sky Dragon X finally getting a hit. And as I said, oh, Earth Barrier's gone. Oh, okay, never mind. It did get Earth Barrier off, didn't it? Well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Cypher Sky Dragon X is the comeback king. Doesn't seem to start playing until Spiny comes in. Like, the, the, the Cypher Sky Dragon has been getting stomped. First two dinos have just basically been again stomped for this whole tournament. And yet Spiny doesn't. It's remarkable. And you know. The Eel Raptor is quite fragile, as we all know, so one pretty much two more hits and it's, it's, it's even even Stevens again. But, you know, Lout was not a former ch was not a champion for nothing. Ooh, Stracosaurus. I think it was Stracosaurus last time. Or it might have been Steg, I can't remember which one. Which means it will not have Thunder Driver, it will have Thunder Bazooka. Wow, are the moves really random? Huh. Oh, no, no. <laughs> uh, no Neptune stream this time, but that pest of a Kentrosaurus did bite the dust. Defense boost and tie bomb there, helping Laos tighten the screw on this match. Ooh, a Thunder Bazooka incoming. Defense boost incoming, and another tie bomb coming. I don't know if this will increase the damage because it's a lightning move. I think it did. However, Eoraptor is not the toughest, so it pro it'll probably need two more hits to finish Spiny off. Oh hell, even a even a tie I think will do it. Ooh, a Spiny getting the strike back though. Shockwave coming, but that. Oh no, not Shockwave. Aqua Javelin this time. I think Shockwave would have increased the likelihood of a tie, which would suit Lancet at this point, so. I think. Oh, speaking of ties. Yep, look at that. Lancet on the brink of a yet another semi final appearance. Oh, Super Tie Type! Super Tie Type! Well, the Super Tie Type will not save Cypher Sky Dragon X this time, as Laos gets his revenge from the group stage and defeats Cypher Sky Dragon X and books his place in the semi finals. Um, that's quite a strong display by Laos, and whichever one of the. one of Le Poke or Maximum Pyrus goes on to face Laos, you get, you're probably gonna get stomped. But anyway, that's our former champ in the semi finals. And now, we are going to move on to the next match to find out who is opponent. Alrighty then, in this last quarterfinal matchup, we see Lepoke taking on Maximum Pyrus. At first for Lepoke, we have an Albertosaurus. Oh, I kind of root for you, Lepoke. Not, 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 not because Pyrus beat me in the last 16, but because I picked your moves for you. So I feel like I'm still in the tournament. A second chance at beating Pyrus. Anyway. So if Lepoke wins here, it'll kind of be like my victory as well. Anyway, as for Pyrus in the blue corner, we have a Shunasaurus. And we definitely saw what that Hydro Cutter can do, even with a tight disadvantage. But this time, Pyrus has the type of advantage. Oh, look at that for a start. What a start from Pyrus. A crit right off the bat. A height. If that was a Hydro Cutter, the HP would probably have gone to about by here. Oh, look at this. Another hit from Pyrus. Pyrus on top early on. Lepoke in a bad state. But a saving grace for Lepoke is that the second dino is a lightning dinosaur, which will have the type advantage over Shunosaurus, but that, based on the last matchup from Pyrus, we don't, that doesn't seem to matter. However, what does matter there, the blunder type and the tie attack there, Ties becoming interesting. Here's another one. Ooh, and here's Lepoke's first hit of the match. A 
Despite a good start from Pyrus, the Pope's still hanging on in there with Albertosaurus, but the Aqua Vortex has been triggered, which means which increases the likelihood of Pyrus getting a 1 0 lead. And that is exactly what Pyrus will get. Here comes Aqua Vortex. Uh, it's a pretty good move, Aqua The fact that you can activate it during the tie, especially with the way I do the moves, Aqua Vortex is pretty good. Like, I should really devise a, a, like a meta set of moves that, well, I think are good for, this tour for these kind of tournaments. And I think Aqua Vortex is a pretty good move to have. Anyway, as for Lepoke's second dino, we have our Bert the Ceratops. It'll have the type advantage over the Shunosaurus, but as we saw before, type, advan type disadvantage does not phase the Shuno. Oh, that's a type. I think that'll suit Pyrus now because it'll wear down Albertosaurus' health and there's a chance Ocean Panic can get triggered. However, that suits Lepoke. The Shunosaurus biting the big one and Lepoke even in the score. Alright, as for Pyrus' second dino, we have a Lanzusaurus. Yeah, it's hard to diverse a meta with random number generator, and it is all random at the end of the day, you know. It is good. I like to think that you can strategize with this, but at the end of the day, you really can't. There are moves like dino stuff, uh, dino illusion, where you can, like, increase the number of hits your opponent needs to get on you which in turn increase the number of times they need to win with a random number generator. So it would in So in a way it would like decrease their chances of winning in a, that sort of aspect. If you use like defensive type moves then if you use like attack type moves or have a powerful crit like that, you know, you'll need you won't need as many hits to get you won't need to get off as many hits to kill your opposition. So there is that aspect, and obviously you could take in you can take into account how many ties it could be in a talk in a match. You know, using moves like tie breaker, tie attack, take advantage of that. Well, anyway, that's enough of me blabbing. Back to this match, and back to Pyrus having a 2-1 lead with the type advantage over this Uaplocephalus as well. It'll be a tough it'll be tough for Lepoke to come back from this. The Uaplocephalus though. You know, does have the resilience on his side. And we'll need to get off a couple of earth barriers if Lepoke wants to get back in the match. Ooh, that's a tie. That will suit Pyrus now. I'll just spat everywhere. That will... Well, not the worst thing for Lepoke, because his tail smash won't do too much damage, but... It's not good either because it increases Pyrus' lead. Ooh, Lepoke finally getting a hit. And here comes the light recovery as well. An earth barrier act an earth barrier activation here will be very handy. But it's not meant to be. Well, not that time anyway. Okay, what about this time? Little damage will be dealt though because of that tight disadvantage. Yeah, that's game over. That is Maximum Pyrus through to the semi-finals to take on Laos. Wow, they've been quite, you know, not as close these matches this, in this video. It's kind of a shame. But, you know, it's impressive displays from Pyrus and Laos. But I would have liked to have seen more closer matchups, like the first video. Like the first quarter-final video where we had Queen and Nopi and then... Queen and Nopi was quite... Oh, one kind of one-sided as well, because you had Queen winning with two of her dinos left. Although the Epistocela Claudia is on very low health. Yeah, the best one of the best match of that round, probably Ultimate Dino King against Darius, because that was a really close game, and it is a shame I wasn't feeling up to snuff at the end here, but you know, it is what it is, and I di I didn't want to chuck that match in the bin, because that was a good match. But anyway. That is our semi-final lineup. So let's have a look at the format. Yes. Go away. 
probably one of those spammers again, spamming stuff on the bottom of my bloody videos. But anyway, back to this. Our semi-final matchups. Oh, I'm I am looking. For, I'm genuinely looking forward to this one. I mean, well, you guys will look forward to this one. I'm gonna be recording this one straight after this video. We will see Ultima Dino Queen take on Ultima Dino King. Like, think of it as a derby match. You got the big, your biggest rival. This is this is an El Clasico match. This is freaking Real Madrid against Barcelona standard match. This, this is Man United against Liverpool. This, this, this is how big this matchup is. <laughs> Ultimate Dino Queen against Ultimate Dino King. And then we will see Louse taking on, well, definitely the outsider out of this lot, Maximum Pyrus. Well, imagine how tasty the semi finals would have been if I got you. Oof. But it is good to see a newcomer do well as well. And can, can Pyrus go all the way? Two matches away from glory, these lot. Two wins is all it takes. Who will get them? Well, you're going to have to find out after this video ends. Ding! And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.